Hey Capricorn, this is Alex. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. This is your Love Angel and Tarot card reading. Uh, the reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Although it's being published in June of 2020, the reading is timeless and may resonate at any given moment in time. Um, please feel free to check the description box below for, for any information or updates about the channel. And as always, if the reading does resonate, please, please feel free to like and subscribe. I love you guys. Let's see what we have for our lovely Capricorns. For this reading, I'm using my Romance Angel cards specifically. And then I will follow them up with five tarot cards. First card, calling your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I feel like maybe for some of you guys, this has been looming, right? It's been around your crown, right? Um, thinking a lot about the rest of your life, um, the person that you would like to join you on the next part of your journey. Um, more and more of you guys, I kind of feel like have been feeling about that partner. They're showing me you guys in a car, you are the driver and your passenger is your partner. So for a lot of you guys, you have been wondering who's the best fit for that seat. The next card, Capricorn, new love. A new person has uh, stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, well, when thinking about who that person is, who you want in that seat, angels, I kind of feel like uh, this is a description of that person. You know, I want them to be kind, funny, you know, great body, you know, this, that, or the other. I just kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, um, mm, they're saying that this person could have a lo lot of the same attributes as your person before because everybody kind of has a type kind of kind of kind of right and if it's not the type of them mentally what they're creating themselves it's the type that you know they're going to attract anyway right so i kind of feel like for a lot of you guys this is um it's a new person i kind of feel like definitely it's a new person now, I also need to mention that it could be someone either you already know, somebody, it could be a new part of an existing person, like moving from friends into lovers or um, a new love for this existing or old person. But new love, again, does not necessarily mean a new physical person. It could just mean love for a person you already know or it could be love for a new person that you meet. So it's 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 new love independent of a physical person. Next, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. If you want something different, you got to do something different. Um Capricorn is kind of a fixed sign. I do believe it's a fixed sign. So that kind of means that, you know, you guys will use the same tried and true methods all the time. You know, you guys don't shoot the messenger or kind of like the old dogs of the Zodiac. You know, you're the goats, right? So you'll use the same thing all the time because again, you don't like change. But this is calling for you guys to, you know, do something different. If this is a new love, oh, I never, you know, do this. I never open doors for females or women are like, oh, I'll never give a guy a foot rub. Do something different, right? You want new love. You want a new beginning. You want like reconciliation or resurgence back into this relationship, right? You want to, in other words, you want to breathe life or new life into a relationship. Well, that requires you to do new things. Those old methods are out with the old person and the old relationship and even the old you that healed, right? You're no longer the old person, so you're somebody new. You've evolved. So now that calls for new habits, new good habits, by the way. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this uh, relationship going, okay? Sorry, I'm just waiting for a download. Angels, for some reason, are saying this is you guys. 
Because I kind of feel like if you're in a situation and you're just not feeling it, you're not going to stay in that situation. I don't even care if the sex is out of the world, out of this world, or the person makes you feel good. They make you feel like a king. They make you feel like a queen. It's almost like if your heart is not in it, you're not in it either. I feel like this is how you feel about somebody else you were dealing with. Again, this person that you could have just left or this situation that um, just ended, right? Because I do feel like there was an ending for a lot of you guys. It's almost like you feel like they didn't love you enough, right? A lot of you could even feel like they took you for they took uh, took advantage of you, right? Not took you for granted, but took advantage of you, as in oh they only wanted me because I helped them or I paid the bills or I did this and I did did that. It's like a lot of you are kind of you know they like you pulled the violin out and you're playing your violin. Woe is me, because again I just kind of feel like you felt like the other person did not love you enough. Now, what I also need to mention too is the person actually could have loved you enough. You could have been too busy kind of paying attention to other stuff or being sexified, right? That you weren't necessarily paying attention to how that person was loving you. Now, I'm going back over here and I'm picking up the new love card because going forward, when the next person comes along, right? And they're coming along based on this, right? You have to pay attention. You got to do something different to be able to receive the love now coming from this new person. And again, disclaimer, it could be an existing person as well. A new chapter uh, in an existing person. Mm, express your love. Go ahead and make that make the romantic gesture. This kind of goes back to, again, Capricorn, that you can love the crap out of somebody. I also need to hold this card up. You can love the crap out of somebody and you will never show it. So the person that you might have been dealing with felt like you didn't love them enough, right? Which caused the separation. So now God, angels, and universe is like, dude. If you love them, let them know. I don't care if you doing stuff every day. One of the things that I can't stand is to hear people say, oh, well, he knows I love him. I don't have to tell him all the time. You don't know how long that person is going to be living on this planet. You don't know what that gesture of love does for them, what they struggle with. And hearing I love you, you know, it's definitely not going to hurt nobody by telling them that, right? So you never know what that does for somebody. So Capricorn, show it. I don't care how uncomfortable it is. Do not let your ego get involved. Your ego will come involved and just shit all over your situation. And I feel like for some of you, it has already done that. So you don't know. Life is short. You, we don't, none of us know how much time we have left. So show and express your love, Capricorn, okay? In addition to the Romance Angels, I am pulling five of my beautiful Tarot of Dreams card as well. And this card came flying out and there you go. You know, yes, this is a fire sign. Capricorn is an earth sign. But I feel like this is the king of egos. This is the king of fire. Water is represented, excuse me, romance, uh, emotions and love is represented by cups. Water fills cups, liquid fills cups. Water is also another symbolism for emotions. Well, honey, fire will burn that out, right? Fire will burn that out. It's called evaporation. So I kind of feel like this is a message to you, Capricorn, in saying the methods perhaps for some of you that you were using before were completely ineffective. I also need to mention, yeah, you were fucking passionate like a mug, okay? Nobody could hold a candle next to Capricorn's passion, like sultry, alluring, just arouses you on, on spot, right? But passion without that love is just, you know, it's, it's a drug, right? The love is what comes in and heals. The passion will ignite it and, and move you and make you feel like, God, 
I can't breathe. It'll take your breath away. But the love comes back in to resuscitate you. Okay? So Capricorn's going forward. It, I need two. I need two from you. I need love and passion. Right? Not only that, but I need you open and expressing that love. Angels are saying, pull that card. Don't let that card go. And that card is the Ten of Cups. Right? Again, this kind of goes back to, I feel like a lot of you guys are thinking now about who that new partner is going to be. Who's the person who's going to ride out and going to rock with you for the rest of your lives. It's kind of weird because I don't necessarily see that as being a Capricorn trait. Maybe you guys are in the present moment, kind of, you know, a little spontaneous. We'll just, you know, be in a moment, not necessarily thinking about what's down the road. But for some reason, Capricorn, I just kind of feel like that's hot and heavy on your mind right now. And the next card is the wheel cycles, right? Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Yeah, this is a change. This is a change. This is evolution. This is divine order. This is things being set to right and set in place. Um, one thing that I'm hearing, especially for you, Capricorn, is it doesn't happen in your world independent of you, right? So it's not like the universe is just going to come in and move things around in your world. And all you have to do basically is just navigate through. Okay, shh, this is coming. Let me dodge that. No, you are part of the situating and the navigating yourselves, right? So again, sorry not to be the dead and buried horse, but yes, you are wonderful at moving things around and creating things and dodging things. You're the master dodger, right? But we need for you to kind of create and yeah, send some of that pen that, that energy out there and that passion and out there to actually create situations versus just dodging or maneuvering through certain situations. Okay. The wands also represent creativity as well, right? But instead of, say, for instance, destroying or just dodging or altering something that was created, Capricorn, get out there and put your neck on the line. Make that romantic gesture. Tell that person you love them. Tell them, you know, hey, I want to move this over or I miss you. I, you know, it's been hell without you. Um, you know, I can't sleep at night. Tell that person life is short. Okay. Here's the reward, right? Here's the nine of pentacles, which is abundance. It's, you know, it's a return on investment, right? So whatever you put out there, whatever value you put out there, you get that value back. If you put shit out there, you're going to get shit back. If you put a half ass out there, the other half is going to come back. So Capricorn, um, yeah, I like this. Angels just said, put your money where your mouth is. If you love somebody, if you want somebody, if you're really rocking with or down for somebody, let them know. You call yourself the king of wands. You like big, big willy. You big Tim. Put your money where your mouth is and let that person know. Okay. Not only that, but do not let them out of your sight until they know and understand how you feel. For a lot of you guys, I get like, oh, I'm nervous. I was like, oh, shit. Because <laughs> um, Capricorns don't do feelings well. Capricorns don't do emotions well. And look at you. You just showed up in your own damn reading as the devil. Just as I was saying, Capricorn don't do feelings well. Capricorns don't do emotions well. Right? It's almost like you have this negative view or expressing your feelings. You feel like it cripples you and it brings you to your knees. Right? It's almost like, no, I can't let her know that I'm miserable without her. You know, that will make me look like a chunk or like a punk, right? So instead, you know, I'm going to act out. I'm going to do other stupid shit, you know, call her phone saying it was a butt dial or send an email acting like I was going to send it to somebody else. You're going to do some stupid shit and you're going to wind up burning the person out anyway. Okay. Not only that, but angels are also showing me too, especially with Mercury and retrograde, um, this is almost you guys re going back to a previous situation, trying to resurrect it. But instead of resurrecting it, you're going to burn it down further. OK, because I also kind of feel, especially with this devilish energy, it's almost like there is a good intention sitting behind it, but shitty actions to represent it. OK, so that basically means, damn, I love her and I miss her. 
but I'm going to do some stupid shit to communicate that to her, right? And that's what the devil is. The devil says, hey, no, remember devil on your shoulder. You got the angel, you got the devil. Angel's like, hey, do it. Tell her you love her. The devil's like, don't tell her nothing. Instead, just send this stupid fucking email. You know, <laughs> just crazy. Anyway, Capricorn, I hope that helps. Um, I want to look at your cards again, especially your tarot cards. You're moving and shaking and your family life are, is meaning everything to you. Feels like things are wonderful. They're going your way. You know, you are, you know, um, being fulfilled. You're getting what it is that you want. But there's that old little devil and devilish energy that, you know, you just don't feel satisfied. Like everything could be going great, but you just don't feel satisfied, right? We have um, calling in your soulmate. You know you love this person, whether it's existing or again, whether or not it's somebody who you want to meet. And you have the opportunity to resurrect and bring forth new love in this situation. We just need a fucking new you, Capricorn. Okay? Make the effort. Okay? And stop with the holding your love close to your chest and not letting them know. N letting them know. You got to let them know. I know it's uncomfortable, but... You know, I don't mean to make this into like a morbid reading, but it's almost like, wouldn't you be happier being uncomfortable with that person there and being uncomfortable expressing your love than that person not being there and then having to deal with the pain and anguish of them not being there? It's almost like, which is the lesser of the two evils, right? Right. Now, again, with that double card uh, Capricorn showing up in its own reading, I feel like, yeah, this is absolutely Saturn. This is exactly what your life as a Capricorn is like. It's basically kind of navigating through the lesser of the two evils. But like I mentioned to you earlier, instead of navigating and dipping and dodging, why don't you create some light by expressing love, by expressing kindness, by letting somebody know, again, how you feel about them instead of holding all that stuff in and then doing dumb shit and, and not only doing dumb shit, but misrepresenting your feelings like a motherfucker, right? Just totally misrepresenting your feelings all for the sake of interaction, some interaction. You have the power to make that interaction positive. Get out there and get to it, Capricorn. Anyway, I hope that helps. It's like, and it's like, I hope that helps. Take care. Love you. Bye. Right. You know, um, do something different. You, you want something grand and wonderful? Be grand and wonderful. Okay. Love you guys. Take care.